recent update on the 491 visa. Would you mind telling us what that is, please? Sure, Sophie. Um, yes, the Queensland Government has announced an update on the 491 Small Business Owner Pathway. The update is that they're very flexible on the um, six months operating requirement uh, under the visa. They've got to buy a business um, for at least 100,000 and operate it for six months. The flexibility is that um, due to coronavirus, there's been a few uh, business closures and the uh, state government is taking that into account. Um, in addition, they've announced that um, the uh, requirement for the 100,000 purchase can be made up with working capital, marketing expenses, and also um, refit purposes. So a person, a cook for example, or a chef, could buy a business for 80,000 and make up the rest in um, working capital, marketing and refit costs. That's a great degree of flexibility there. It is. And um, so this, Nick, this can lead to permanent residence? It can. Um, another um, element of flexibility is that the they need to employ one employee, at least one employee. That can be at the end of that six month period. It doesn't need to be the full duration. Um, which is very flexible and they also advise that um, the employee doesn't need to be an Australian citizen or permanent resident, it could be uh, a part-time uh, foreign student for example. Is that new? Is that a change? That is a new policy announcement, mm. yes. Okay. Um, now you've talked about a few of the requirements, are there any other requirements that, that you'd like to update us on? Um, well how it leads to permanent residence is um, holding a 491 visa uh, for uh, three years having earning at least uh, 53,900 in taxable income each year, and then they're eligible for the 191 permanent resident visa. Okay, and are there any limit limitations? Are we limited by a number of these? Yes, um, the Queensland allocation has been exhausted for this financial year. Uh, they, they will reopen that soon after 1st of July. So that's two days away. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, so we will receive a new allocation. Um, it's unlikely to open on the 1st of July. Um, the federal government is looking at this, but they certainly will receive an allocation in the near future. So when that allocation is, a, is open, I would advise for uh, potential applicants to look at some business opportunities um, within their price range and uh, look at the foreign investment review board requirements as well, because that process can take some time and get their um, the ducks in a row so they're ready to go when that allocation opens. Mm. So I guess be proactive and uh, start looking for your business and your opportunities now. Yes. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Sophie.